In this tutorial, we'll cover printing in Google Sheets. There are a number of ways to access the print in Google Sheets. The first one is to go to File, scroll all the way down to the bottom and click Print. Or you can click this handy Print button here. Or as the hint suggests, you can hold down Control and select P for Print. All right, so let's go through this print screen. Up on the left hand side here, you can see the sample of how things are going to print out. Generally, first off, it'll always suggest current sheet as your print. If we select current sheet, that's fine. Next, we can check the paper size. The letter one is usually default. I often use the A4, so let's change it to A4. And then next, you can change it to either landscape or portrait mode. And this is portrait mode here. Now, you might want to be a bit more particular about how you fit your sheet into your page. So we can scale it differently. We can change the scale. Our first one is normal at 100% or we can fit the page to the width of the document, which will always be the last amount of data in the cell. For our example, this is a chart down the bottom here. Or we might have fit to height, which will squish everything into the total height of the document. And it will roll over anything else. The total height goes down to this average here, but the width is larger than the sheet. So the remaining will carry across on the sheet here. Okay. Another one is fit to page. So this would try and fit the entire document into a single page. Okay, so for us, let's say fit to page. Okay, that looks nice and tidy. Next, we can look at our margins. So here we've got some custom margins here. So we can move these up and down as so. And this will help us fit the document into the page based on our margins. Or we can set it to a normal margin, narrow margin, so we have not too much space on either side or a wide margin. Generally, the default normal is perfectly fine. Next, we can select custom page breaks. So here we click the, the button here and then we can click on edit. This will come up with an edit screen and it can help us determine where we want the breaks to occur in each page. So I can drag this up, drag this across. I can create an extra page break as well as we go. All right, so, and once you are done, you hit confirm breaks and it's all done. Next we have formatting. Here we can decide whether or not we want to show grid lines in our document or not. So grid lines are the ones that you don't make with your actual border creation software. So we didn't make any borders, so we don't have any grid lines when we click it off. Finally, I have in my document, let's just go back. You can see here I have a little note that pops up here. Perhaps I want this in my print, so let's go back to print. And we will go back to, we'll say A4 this time, fit to, fit to height, portrait, that's okay. And we'll go back to formatting and we want to keep our notes in. So they're down the bottom here. So we'll show notes. So we can also change the page order. So here we can say over and then down. Over and then down means from left to right and then top to bottom, or we can go down and then over, which means from top to bottom and then left to right. Then we have our alignment. We can change the alignment of our document. The best way to display an alignment is by selecting a particular range. So if we go back up to print here, you can say select cells. I haven't selected any cells at the moment, so let's go cancel. And we'll click here and drag down to the bottom, go back to print, and we'll say selected cells this time, change it to portrait, and now I'll change our formatting and then we have our alignment horizontal left as you can see drags it over to the left and then right center and we can also format it top and bottom top and bottom cool so let's close that and finally we have a bunch of headers and footers first we can put in a page number which will automatically appear down the bottom right a workbook title which will appear in the top left uh, a sheet name, which will appear in the top right, the current date, which should appear down the bottom left, or the current time. So it will add the date time instead of just the date. You can customize, you can add or remove any one of these, or you can edit the custom fields. To edit the custom fields, click the button below, and this will open up your sheet. Uh, first, we can change this title, and then you've got a little menu that pops up here. Perhaps we want to make this the sheet name title instead of uh, we want to add the sheet name title and the workbook title together 
and here we don't want anything so I'll delete that and we want to move the date up to the top so we'll change this to the date and time and down here we'll remove these let's change the page number to this cool once we're done we can confirm and now you can see all the changes that we've applied up the top here no worries okay finally we can also decide if we want something uh, if we want our rows to be frozen or not if we have a look back at our sheet here we've frozen the top two rows of the document so when we go back to our print we can see and we'll scroll down uh, we have repeated frozen rows here we go back to our print and select selected cells we can see that on uh, each page the title and the headers are remaining if we deselect them you'll see that only on the first page the title and the headers remain but all other pages do not have data there finally we can change our print to the entire workbook and here we can select workbook up the top in print and this will print out every single item in our sheet so what about if we don't want to print out every single uh, sheet tab well we can go to selection here where it says all sheets and perhaps we don't want the sheet tab the first one with the graph so we'll deselect that and apply and then we'll change this one to A4 this to portrait and now we have on each page our separate classes just like that um, perhaps we don't want footers in this case so we can go down to formatting and we don't want to show notes we'll deselect that but we do want to add our workbook title and sheet name and page numbers so now for the whole workbook you can see I've got class A which is the sheet tab name for this sheet and then that's two pages and class B because this is the second uh, second sheet tab and then class C and so on once we're happy with our layout we can hit next it's just a standard print screen and it'll template as normal um, I could choose a particular uh, printer from this list but for the purpose of this video we'll just save as PDF I'll click save uh, we'll call it um, class grades and save okay so if we go to I've saved it in downloads where it says class grades open that up and you can see now we have our PDF with all our data there cool all right that's all there is to it for printing in Google Sheets if you liked the tutorial please click the like button and if you want to see more please subscribe I'll catch you in the next tutorial